Boom. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for coming today. This is a very important day because all of you are about to lose an important part of your basic human rights. And we need to say no. We need to say, stop this bill, John Key, because we want to fight for our rights to privacy. Now, one thing you all need to understand, and this is very important, the GCSB is a subsidiary of the NSA. It is spying for the Americans to feed information for the war on terror so that the illegal drone strikes can identify the targets and kill those people up from above. 400 innocent civilians have died since that campaign started, including 100 children in clear breach of international law, and we as New Zealanders are participating in this crime. The NSA has offices inside the GCSB building and is directing a lot of the operations that are going on today. And when you were told that there are 88 New Zealanders that were spied on illegally, that is only the New Zealanders we know about because the police and the SIS have signed official warrants for these investigations. You have no idea how many surveillance cases there are that the GCSB has initiated by themselves. Hundreds, maybe thousands of cases where New Zealanders were spied on directly. And we need to have that independent inquiry to find out what exactly these guys did. You need to understand something. When they spied on me, they didn't spy on me because they suspected me of terrorism or because I'm a threat to national security, they spied on me because a handful of billionaires in Hollywood didn't like my business. I created a YouTube competitor, for God's sake. Why would you spy on me? I have given tools to people that allow them to save money and use the internet the way it's meant to be used today, online, easy to use for everybody. And I get raided like I am a drug lord or I'm a terrorist, terrorizing my family and invading my privacy. And if they can do that to me, they can do that to any of you. This GCSB bill is a, is a real threat. And it's not just a threat to us New Zealanders, because we are seeing a trend here. The US government is the most power-hungry government out there. What they are trying to do is to know everything about everyone and using that information to further their power, further their economic interests, and GCSB is one of the puppets on the strings of the U.S. government. And the biggest puppet of them all is John Key. There was a poll on Campbell Live with 80%, 85% of viewers saying no to the GCSB bill. A day later, the Prime Minister gives interviews and says, I have the majority behind me. I mean, how disconnected from reality can you be? He doesn't listen to the people. No one wants this bill. We are all against it because it makes no sense 
for us as a democracy to get these powerful tools to our governments. And I want to ask all of you for a favor because I know someone is watching us right now from Russia. His name is Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden is a hero. It's because of him that we know about what's going on in the world today. And we need to support this guy, and we need to support any whistleblower who comes forward. And his courage, his courage has inspired me. And I will never settle my case. I will fight until we know the truth, until we know every single detail. Thank you all very much for coming and keep fighting this message. Thank you. Give it up to Ken.com, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Make no mistake, under this law, we are all Ken.com. We are all Ken.com. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is our first representative from a major political party. Please, a warm welcome to hear what he will do if he wins 2014. The leader of the leader of the Labour Party, Mr. David Sheeran. Hello, <laughs> everybody. Great to see so many people here on such an important issue. The Labour Party opposes this bill. And we and we will fight it through the house with all the energy that we have so that this bad law is not brought in. You not go back to it. Your privacy, our privacy, is precious. This, this law does not balance off our security with the preciousness of our privacy. It is bad law. It is bad law, and we will replace it in 2014. I, I have said that we will have a full independent inquiry. We want an inquiry not just into the GCSB, but into the SIS and the police and our entire intelligence agencies and the way that they operate. This this has not been done in New Zealand since 1976, when cell phones weren't even a glimmer in anybody's eye. That's how long it has been since we have had an independent inquiry into our intelligence agencies. And Mr. Burnett, a lot of people talk about what is wrong with these, this legislation. I'll have to sit through many of the submitters, none of whose evidence has been included into this bill and any of the amendments. There will raise one issue. One issue. John Key, the Prime Minister, appoints the head of GCSB, his friend Ian Fletcher. His friend reports directly to him on all matters of the GCSB. John Key chairs the Parliamentary Oversight Committee that looks into the GCSB. He is the chair, he is the casting vote, he sets the agenda. John Key and the Prime Minister appoint the Commissioner of Warrants, the person who will sign the warrants off to spy on New Zealanders. He will also appoint the Inspector General of Intelligence, which will look into those issues as well. Can you see what the problem is with this particular piece of oversight? It is all concentrated in one place and there is no country in the world that has that sort of oversight concentrated in one person.
So my challenge to you and my suggestion to you is if you think and you believe that your emails and uh, personal communications are being listened to, I suggest you CC John Key. <laughs> CC John Key. So instead of waiting for it to go to a middleman, CC John Dot T at Parliament dot G O V T dot N Z. In the meantime, the Labour Party will oppose and continue to fight on your behalf. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. We will be holding you to account next year if you win. Don't, don't you? Right, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Yeah, that's right. And it's so good. It's so good to see so many anonymous masks out here today. But isn't it sad that that's the only way you can be anonymous under this bill? Our next speaker. Oh, you can, you, it's not a protest march until the buckets start getting handed around. It has cost a lot of money to get this up and going, ladies and gentlemen. If you have money in your pockets and you can share, please, the buckets are being passed around right now. Our next speaker is from the Green Party, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Gareth Hughes. Kia ora, namahi nui kia koutou, kia ora, Auckland, you're looking fantastic today. Look, I'm proud to be standing here with you today, as Kiwis are standing all across this country of ours, standing up for human rights. We're standing up for our freedom, and it's, I guess it's no surprise that the Greens are committed to voting against this bill, and we're committed to an independent, thorough review of our intelligence and security services. Hey, listening to Kim.com just said, I had a bit of a thought. Maybe Kim should change his name to Kim.co.nz. Because you know, this isn't an issue just about Kim.com. This is an issue for all of us, every single New Zealander. This isn't an issue of left or right or Labour or National or Greens. This is an issue of right and wrong. It's an issue of our human rights and our freedoms. We've got to stand up for it. Let's not forget why these laws are going through this rush process right now is because John Key and the GSCB, the GCSB screwed up. They acted unlawfully. Screwing up and acting unlawfully shouldn't be an argument for rushing through and changing the laws. John Key and the government, they haven't made the case for this law. They haven't justified it. This is a bad law and it doesn't need to be going through a rushed process. Now you don't have to ask him.com for that. You don't have to ask just the Greens or Labour. Ask the Privacy Commissioner, the Human Rights Commissioner, the Human Rights, the, Pri the New Zealand Law Society, and New Zealander of the Year, Dame Anne Salmon. Yeah. The changes we've seen coming out of the Rush Select Committee process are only cosmetic. And this law is only going to happen on the broad vote of Peter Dunn. Peter Dunn now is going to be going down in history as the man with his casting vote who sold our assets, and now he's the man who sold our laws and he sold our privacy. <laughs> Not hope because human rights, freedom, our democracy, we all have a vision for that. We all want our kids and our grandkids growing up in New Zealand where this is paramount. We can change the law. We will see an independent, thorough review. We need to keep it up. Good on all of you for being out here today and all across the country. Keep it up. Kia ora.